Episode 2 of Daring Dark's tutorial. This is your game guru, Daring Dark, speaking. Uh, first, I'd like to say how sorry I am for the delay on episode 2. I know it's been like almost two and a half weeks since my first episode, but due to technical dif difficulties and my job, basically, I just haven't had time to get around to it. But to make it up to you guys, I've prepared three episodes instead of just one this week. There will be Walking Through Walls version 2, Space Nullification version, Breakpoint Explained, and Walking Through Walls version 3 through Blocker Stop. Alright, first off, this week's is Space Nullification Walk Through Walls code, or Matrix Boom Trick. Now what I mean by this is that in some games, different rooms require different amounts of active memory. And instead of allocating the maximum amount of possible memory to every room and filling in the rest with zeros and fives, the room will tell the game how much space it requires so the game can save active memory for other options in the game. Now here is what this cheat will do. Every time you change rooms, the value representing the room's memory needs to show to change. What we're going to do is we're going to save it either, to, we're going to freeze it at least at 0 or 1, depending on the game. And what this does is that it nullifies all the space reserved for the code in the room, which makes it that all the objects, even though they'll show up on the screen, aren't technically there. We're simply squeezing them out. Alright, I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to show you guys how to do this code. Alright, I'm back. Now the game we're going to be using today is uh, Mega Man NT Warriors Blue Moon Edition. The reason I'm using this is because this one I've already done this code several times for, and it's basically the same in all the different versions. Here we have Lamb in the middle of his room, walking around. When he walks into a wall, he stops, which is quite normal. We're going to use, for this code. We're going to be using Visual uh, the um, G Engine 5.4, just as last time, and we're going to do a search. Now, I'm going to take a small shortcut here, because this can take a long time. I already know that Land's Room in all of the Mega Man Anti Warrior games is 64 bytes long. Right here, we're going to be doing new search. Search for 64 bytes, and do a first scan. This is pretty fast, since it actually knows what it's looking for. 8,804 are all here. Alright, returning to the game, we're going to change rooms. So, stepping out. Now this room, as you can see, is much bigger and has a lot of more things blocking you. So, obviously it has more bytes. So, what do we do? Return to this screen. Change from exact value over to increased value. This will search for every value that's gone up since, I've changed, since the last time I've checked. Next scan. Right there already, it's down to 248. It's pretty fast. Now if you look around, you could even sort through them yourself, but this will take a while. So we're going to go back into the game, move around a bit. Since you're still in the same room, this should not have changed at all. Go back and click on Unchanged Value. This will, quite frankly, just reduce the number of things allowing you to find your code faster. Search, down to 12. Now personally I know which one it is, but I am going to reduce numbers even again by returning to the game, walking back into my room, back in Lan's room, and we're going to search for 64 again. Exact value, 64, next scan. You're down to 7. Now we can start sticking them into our um, main memory. As you can see here, I already took it out. This is the one, but just to let you know, you can, also, you can stick them all in and try putting them all down to 0 or 1. This one, although this one I've already found, like I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it from 64 to 1. Oh, sorry, to 0. Now it's at zero, we freeze it. What will this do? Let's check. The land is currently walking and right through the wall. Unlike Pokemon, just to make this perfectly clear, 
land, like there's no break code, so land can walk infinitely out of the frame. It'll just basically take a long time to get back. As for objects, you can still interact with them as long as you're properly placed on the map. As you can see, walking out of a room, just position yourself properly. Even though walking in the door, just walk in front of it. The code persists in every other room in the game. This includes, oh, except for people. Sorry, forgot to mention this. You cannot go through people, but you can walk around them. So even if they're blocking your way, just basically ignore them, walk around, go to wherever you want to go. This is the only little problem. There we go. Let's get online. I'm going to show you guys. Button right there. I'll have to pause this for a second. We're back. Right now I'm jacking into the internet. Just to show you that this code affects everything. Normally this would not be possible. Walking outside the lines. For some odd reason, you can still get attacked by the, mon by the monsters even if you're outside. You're still in the attack range. You can still affect different objects. Walking out. Oh, actually, I'll show you right now what happens if you unfreeze the code and change rooms. Back here. Okay. There we go. I've removed the code. As you can see, you can't normally walk out. Well, I think I've explained it well enough. Any more questions can be placed in comments. Now I have to record the next video, which is Breakpoint Explained, allowing you to know how to use breakpoints and a small intro on Assembler for Super Nintendo and PC. Thank you very much. Please let me know what you think.